Hello mathematicians, welcome back to another session of Math Workshop. Today we're going to get into uh, lesson number 14. In our last lesson, we started looking at um, adding decimal numbers by converting the decimal numbers uh, for, to fraction form. And so we're going to continue with this um, by applying it to word problems. As always, I want you to keep the vocabulary in mind so that you are using the accurate academic vocabulary as you are processing your thinking and you're writing down your thoughts. So we're going to watch a video here that goes in depth about how to add decimals um, using the conversion of fractional form um, in the application of word problems. This is fourth grade module six, lesson 14. And in this lesson, we're going to be continuing to add our decimals. But this time, we're going to be doing it in the context of measurement, liters, kilometers, et cetera, kilograms. Uh, and, and they're all going to be in the context also of word problems. And really, it's just more opportunity to practice the concept of adding decimals, particularly when we convert them into fractions in order to d develop that deep number sense. So let's get started. So I'm going to mostly focus on showing how I would model the problem using tape diagrams um, and then leave it up to you to solve the actual numbers, the problem. So the snowfall in year one was 2.03 meters, so two and three hundredths meters. And the snowfall in year two was 1.6 meters or one and six tenths meters. How many total meters of snow fell in years one and two? So what I might do is I might do this as a separate two-bar model. And the idea is I'm going to say, well, I can see right off the bat that these two, I could see that this one is larger than this one. So I could, if I wanted to, well, no, I'm going to stick with my rule. Whenever I have two subjects, I always start with two tape diagrams that are the exact same length. Now I'm going to go back and I'm, I'm going to read the question. And it says the snowfall in year one was 2.03. The snowfall in year two was 1.6. Now, which one's bigger? Well, we know that 2.03 is supposed to be bigger, so I'm going to extend this a little bit. And I know that this is 2.03. And then I'm going to read, and it says the snowfall in year two, right here, was 1.6. So there's our 1.6. And then the question is, how many total meters of snow fell in years one and two? So that's going to be this right here. So what are we going to do? We're going to add 2.03 plus 1.6. And that's where we're going to convert this, well, into a fraction, this into a fraction, get our common denominators, and uh, run with it. Now here, a deli sliced 22.6 kilograms of roast beef one week and 13.54 kilograms the next week, how many total kilograms of roast beef did they uh, slice in the two weeks? So you've got week one, you've got week two, and I'm going to make both tapes the exact same length. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to read the question again. It says they sliced 22.6 in week one. 13.54 in week two. And so I know that week one is supposed to be longer, a longer tape than week two. And so let's just do that. Let's extend it a little bit. It doesn't matter exactly how much we extend it. And that is our 22.6. And then we know that this is our 13.54. Four. And then the question is, how many total kilograms? So there's the key. How many total kilograms did they do in the two weeks? So that's this thing, the, the total amount. So what are we going to do? We're going to add 22.6 plus 13.54. Now here's a tricky one. To be honest, it took me a couple of times to read this to get it. So it says the school cafeteria served 
125.6 liters of milk on Monday. That's a lot of milk. And 5.34 more liters of milk on Tuesday than on Monday. That's the key phrase right there. How many total liters of milk were served on both Monday and Tuesday? So our two characters, Monday and Tuesday, and I'm going to make those two tape diagrams exactly the same length. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to read the question. It says the school cafeteria served 125.6 liters of milk on Monday and more milk on Tuesday. So, so the idea is Monday is right here, and that's 125.6 liters. Now, Tuesday, it says they did those 125.6 liters, but plus they did an extra 5.34 liters because it says they did 5.34 more liters of milk on Tuesday than on Monday so they're tied and then Tuesday did 5.34 more liters and then the question is how much did they do all together so that's the big question couple of ways we could do it we could add Tuesday together first and first add 125.6 plus 5.34, get that answer, and then add it to another 125.6. Another way we could think of it is, is one big long problem, 125.6, that's Monday, plus, and then we can put in parentheses, 125.6 plus 5.34 on Tuesday. So a couple of ways you could think of it as a two-step problem. First, add these two numbers together to get Tuesday, and then add that to get Monday. Or you could think of it as a one-step, but secretly it's the same thing, um, as one big old huge equation. So here we've got Max, Maria, and Armin, and they are in a, a relay race. They're a team. And Max ran his part in 17.3 seconds. Maria was 0 0.7 seconds slower than Max and Armin was 1.5 seconds slower than Maria. And then the question is what's the total time for our team? So this time we have three characters. We have Max, we have Maria, and we have Armin. And again, I'm going to make all three of their tape diagrams the exact same length, the best I can. One, two, three. So they have the exact three, exact same tape diagrams. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to read the question again. It says, okay, they're on a relay race team. So that first question doesn't really help much. I mean, that first sentence doesn't add much to it. Then it says, Max ran his part in 17.3 seconds. So this length right here is 17.3. And then it says, Maria was 0.7 seconds slower than Max. So what does that mean? Well, that means Maria's portion, we have to chop off. No, no. Slower. So that doesn't mean we're going to chop off. That means we need to add on an extra 0 0.7 seconds because Max was this length. Maria took a little bit longer. And then Armin was 1.5 seconds slower than Maria. So Armin, he has to add not only the 0 0.7, but he also has to add an additional 1.5 seconds. So now the question is, what is the total time? So the idea is, what is the entire total time? So what are we going to do? Well, we know that we have this piece is 1.73. That means this piece right here 
is also 1 point, I mean 17, sorry, 17.3. And this piece is also 17.3. So if we need to know the total time, that means we're going to have to find some way, and parents and teachers, I'm going to leave it up to you, but for our students to add 17.3 plus another 17.3, plus another 17.3, that takes care of all of these, plus a 0 0.7 plus another 0 0.7, that takes care of these, plus a 1.5, and that takes care of this guy right here. So we have to add up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 decimals in order to get our total time. And that wraps up a fun one, is focusing on word problems, which means we needed to draw a bunch of tape diagrams in order for us to practice adding our decimals um, in decimal form. So that's fourth grade, module six, lesson 14. All right, so let's get that practice in. Uh, set that timer, 30, 35 minutes. Get on iReady or Zern. Um, I think you should be done with the the decimal lessons that have been assigned to you by now. Um, so I would like you to get on Zern, complete lesson number 14, the independent practice. If you feel like you still want to um, get a little more understanding, you can also go into the guided practice and complete that. Be sure to use the tool, be sure to reach out to a peer and make certain to self-assess your work. Once you're done with that, complete the exit ticket and submit. All right, have a good one.